Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends in Italy, it is my pleasure to be with you through a humble but genuine and supportive message at the occasion of your important event. The crisis which is out there in Europe and Italy is alarming. It's 150 million people across Europe that are at the risk of poverty and social exclusion. It's more than 23 million that are unemployed. 20% of them young people. In some countries it's about 60% youth unemployment or in cities like here in Brussels where I'm living 40%. The so-called lost generations. And 50% of the new businesses that are created are failing in the first five years. So the situation is alarming but you are social entrepreneurs or social intrapreneurs. Are you working in companies? in governments, in universities. What does it mean? Two things. We cannot give up. And we must collaborate to innovate the solutions, both for business and society. So, what is the battlefield? Quel est le plan de bataille? Or how can CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, be part of the battlefield. There I would like to share with you some latest developments from the EU institutions or by the business community. In November last year, the Commission, CSR Europe, governments, social partners, NGOs came together to review the results of the European strategy on CSR that was launched in 2011. And that's the heart of it, you have an action plan with 36 actions, but you also have a definition telling that CSR is a process for companies to integrate in their operations and strategy economic, social, environmental, business, uh, uh, human rights and consumer concerns in their operations and strategy together with stakeholders. And the aim of the process is twofold. To diminish the risks, the negative impacts of business on society but also to enhance the opportunities through innovative products and services to create shared value. Another development is on the 25th of June, in two months' time. For the first time, 28 countries in Europe will celebrate together the first European award schemes on CSR, celebrating a time of crisis where so many people are depressed celebrating what men and women are doing in terms of good practice. The sweat and blood of finding new solutions, it's worth to be considered and to be awarded. Also, Enterprise 2020, it's the only initiative of companies that is engaging 70 large companies and 5,000 enterprises across Europe. This is the only initiative that was endorsed by the European Commission in that strategy on CSR. And we have already delivered a rich number of results and new tools for practitioners. The Commission also came out two months ago with a first series of guides on business and human rights. Is it for small, medium enterprises? Is it for sectors? The Commission also launched in March, together with companies, a ground coalition on digital jobs with a strong focus on STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. That is explaining the skills gaps and not matching the jobs that are available. But we have severe problems. There is not enough partnerships between business and schools to teach the 21st century way this science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The European Parliament also released two important reports on CSR and it is urging governments to work much more closely with business and through networks like Sodalitas or Impronta Etica. Why? Because these networks, they have gold in their hands. Solutions that have been developed by companies. Is it on human capital? Is it on innovative products, more sustainable? Or is it on better management? And Finally, another development. The Commission last week came out with a proposal for an EU legislation on non-financial information of companies. This is now in the hands of the Parliament 
and of governments for them to develop or to turn that into a smart policy. As with 18,000 large companies with more than 500 employees to report on their policies, on their risks, on their results with regard social, environmental, human rights, bribery and corruption. And also, they asked listed companies this time to also release information on diversity related issues. This will be under the so-called comply or explain approach. If you don't want to report, EU is asking them to explain. Important is to notice that this proposal needs to be looked in parallel of another proposal that is willing to ban quarterly financial reporting. These two proposals are there for the EU to force companies to think and act more on the medium and longer term. I would like to close because I've been too long already and I would like to really thank Ruggiero Bodo and the board and all the members of Sodalitas and all those working with them. It is in 1995 that together we have been launching this network which is called CSR Europe. At that time, nobody knew what CSR was about. It was a time where the pure shareholder model was top champion in business schools, in companies, on stock exchanges. Today, it stands for a common sense revolution. It is caring about people. It is about shared value creation through fair pro uh, profits. And it is about rethinking the purpose of your organization. So I would like to thank you for having paid some attention to these messages and we are looking forward to the results of your important event today. Thank you very much.